The Israeli military has rescued two hostages from captivity in the Gaza Strip. This is a small but symbolically significant accomplishment for the army. The plight of the hostages has captured the Israeli public's attention through more than four months of war, and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is touting this rescue as an important breakthrough. But there are some things to keep in mind. The two men who were rescued are just the second and third hostages to be brought home safely by the military. There are still over a hundred others who remain in Hamas captivity in Gaza. In addition, the raid had a heavy death toll on the Palestinian side. Palestinians are reporting at least 67 killed, and those numbers are expected to rise. Now, this operation took place in Rafah. This is the border town along the Egyptian border where, where over 1.4 million Gazans are now huddled. That's over half of Gaza's population who have fled other areas of fighting. Now, Israel says it wants to invade Rafah. It wants to send in ground troops because it says this is the last remaining Hamas stronghold in Gaza. Well, the heavy death toll that we saw in this operation last night could be a glimpse of what lies ahead if Israel follows through on that promise.